Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer, if you're new here. Um, wow, I feel like it's been so long since I've done a proper video introduction for y'all. But um, anyway, today's video, we're gonna be tackling the kitchen. You already see, I'm in the kitchen, but we're not cleaning it. Um, I bought some pill and stick backsplash two months ago that I plan on putting back here in my laundry room, but I decided that project's on hold for now. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to put it in my kitchen. Um, it is this pill and stick right here by Alan Roth from Lowe's. My washer's going right now. I'm trying to clean up and film a video. But, um, there's a glare. This is what it looks like. I don't know why, but every time, <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I get ready to do a project in my house, I always gravitate towards blue colors, and blue isn't even my, one of my favorite colors, I, I don't know why, but I bought two packs, um, I've done this before with the stone peeling stick, um, you know, I like to switch it up a bit, so we're doing this, also I bought this um smooth our utility knife kit so, um about to show y'all what it looks like without it also i'm gonna be installing um a little window seal for my plants to set on in my window i have a piece of one by four from whenever i've done the girl uh the girls bathroom so i went to walmart yesterday and I picked up these two shelf, um, what are these called? I don't know, shelf hinges? I don't know. Uh, one was white and one was brown. They didn't have two of the same color. Um, they were only 75 cent on clearance, so I had black spray paint. So I just brought them home and spray painted them both. Didn't do a good job on that, but that's fine. That piece will be up against the wall with the one by four on top. But I wanted to, uh, I want a windowsill that way I can put my plants on my windowsill. Um, I've been I've been uprooting some of my plants I already have. My mother-in-law gave me some. I'll show you right past. Hold on. Mother-in-law gave me this. It's um mother. It's called how ironic mother-in-law's tongue or snake plant. Look how big this thing is. And um, she uprooted this piece for me. I did not know that you could grow these things in water, but you can. So she gave me this huge piece. Um, Y'all know I still got my plant up here and it's actually growing around the curtain rod, which is what I wanted. Um, some more plants. Um, I picked this up yesterday. It was on clearance at Walmart. Here goes another snake plant that I just put in a cute little jar from I think Dollar Tree. It's in water piece of snake plant that I uprooted myself and it's just in soil and then this is a piece of the plant that's hanging up in my living room that I um, uprooted or transplanted is the correct word I'm sorry that I transplanted and put in this weird jar I think this was like a jar that had volcano I was like a plant will look so cute in there and it's actually doing good this sprig right here this piece here wasn't even on here yesterday whenever I was messing around with them. So, um, I need to clean the water out in there. But yeah, I just want something to sit like right here to put my plants in. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, let's get started. So let's not waste another minute. Hey. 
Y'all, it took one whole row just to do this one side. Let's check out all this right here today. Um, okay. I don't know. Let me see how much I can get done. Um, so let's see. So this is what it gets you. You think you're getting a nice thick roll, but look. It's full of padding. So in reality, you're not getting the whole lot. It's full of padding. Oh, it's been like an hour since the last clip that I've seen. Um, I had to run up to the store, got the kids some lunch, but while I was out, I ran into Family Dollar and I picked these up. They're just the little peel and stick things. Um, I think I'm gonna put these behind the stove since I doubt I'm gonna have enough of my peel and stick that I'm already using. Over here, I did, <laughs> I screwed up over here. Um, you see, they're not like lined up, but it's fine. It'll be all right. But I feel like this tile, it like almost matches. I mean, not obviously not the color, but the design, like the pattern. So I'm gonna put this behind the stove over here. So this is how I done my window seal. I just stained a one by four piece of wood that I had. Um, and the same thing that I'm doing here, I done for my, um, I don't even know what you would call it, the wooden backsplash that I added to my countertop. I didn't record me doing any of that, but I just stained a one by four like I'm doing here, cut it down to size and ran it up against the wall in my kitchen. Um, and I use some liquid nail to adhere it to the wall.
I've had this chalkboard paint for about two years now. I was going to do it in the girls' room, but decided not to. Um, but y'all just seen me give the wall a lot of sanding. What I have here is just a really small paint pen set that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It's got a paintbrush roller in it, a paintbrush, and it looks like some gloves. And also I got some blue masking tape. I'm going to go ahead and mask off where I want to paint at. So let's go back to now. If you're doing this project, keep in mind that once it comes out of the paint can, it does look blue, like a dark navy blue. But you see here, once it goes on the wall, it is black. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this awkward space over here. Not sure yet. Um, I'll figure it out. I don't know. But we need a guiding light. Right now we're running around. Y'all, this is what the paint stir sticks look like now. I just cut the handle off of them and stained them. I made sure I stained the edges as well as the ends. I uh, really didn't worry about the back of them because that's going to be up against the chalkboard wall. Um, the chalkboard wall, I did end up, I think I've done about three coats all together. So, so once I've done the second coat of the chalkboard paint, I had to take some trash off. So I ran into Walmart while I was out and I picked up some liquid nails um, to put the, the wood around the chalkboard wall as well as my back my backsplash and i also had to pick up some drywall screws just for some extra strength i don't know um but yeah i just stained the wood i just showed y'all that and these are paint star sticks i just stained i would have went to lowe's but um a 12 foot piece of wood probably wouldn't have fit in my van i wasn't going to try it so Paint stir sticks from Walmart to the rescue. You get three of them for like $1.14 and I picked up like six, six packs of them. So I'm pretty sure I got more than enough just to do around my chalkboard wall. Um, yeah, you can see my house is in the wreck. That's usually how it goes whenever I'm doing a project and not trying to clean all day. What is Austin doing? He's doing some fries. But yeah, let me get this done so I can get this house clean.
To put the paint stir sticks on this chalkboard wall, I used some really small nails that I got in a kit from Dollar General. I had to go to Lowe's to get some more um, wallpaper. And while I was in there, I wanted to look at the knobs. And they had these marked down for only, um, I'm looking at the receipt. They were only 98 cents a piece. I think the regular price was about $2 for these knobs. And they're the brushed bronze that I like. And they've got some texture to them. Here, I want to open one so I can see it better. So this is what they look like. They're pretty basic. I want to say they almost look black. Um, and it just come with two screws, which that's surprising because usually the knobs that I buy from Lowe's come with um longer screws and some um nuts. These should be fairly easy to install. Y'all don't mind my hands. That is the stain from yesterday. Don't mind my hands. So I'm about to see if I can install these and get them somewhat even. Um, I did buy 18 of them. I was in the store with like three of the kids trying to count out how many knobs. Well, not knobs. How many cabinets I had in my kitchen. <laughs> so... I was like, one, two, three, four. So I got the right amount, thank God. I got 18 of them, so no extra trips. And I think, honestly, I, I got all of them that they had anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my drill and get to it. Just ran into a slight problem. So when you pour this one open, Pull it open, not pour it open, good God. When you pour it, pour it, oh my God. <clears throat> when you pull it open, it's this one, which is our junk drawer. Yes, it also seems like they're having a fit. And then when you pull this one, it also hits. So these two, I'm not gonna be able to have pulls on them because. So they won't have pulls and these edges on these drawers need to be touched up. But yeah, so these, but yeah, these won't have pulls, I guess, and that sucks. Anyway. I'm just going back, adding in some caulking um, underneath the countertop and the drawers, which is something I should have done when we replaced the countertop. And here it is y'all. It just feels so much more completed now with a different backsplash and the little wooden backsplash I added as well as the hardware.
I'm going to be honest, this is probably my favorite thing about this whole little kitchen update. Um, I love this. This is something I've been wanting to do since we got our house. I just didn't know where to do it at. This was the perfect spot. As you can see, the girls is already attacked it down there, riding on it, which is fine. It's for them. I just thought it would be fun to make a little summer bucket list of things that we want to do this summer. You pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat. It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while. I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you These are just some color changing LED lights that I picked up from Walmart. I did get a two pack. I put one pack on top of my cabinets there and then I also put a pack on the lower part of my cabinets. And um you see the remote, they light up any kind of color you want. Um they strobe, they flash. The only thing they don't do is um go to the bit of music which is fine i know you longer use my google speaker but i just like it I, it's different and i needed some light in here So I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here. I hope y'all enjoyed it and it motivated y'all to do something different in y'all's house as well. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Yeah, yeah, let's be the kids who left, get in trouble again. That star's got nothing on you.